Good morning, everyone, or night, or afternoon, or, or whatever it may be where you are living. Um, boy, if, if I don't sound particularly chipper this morning, it's uh, because I woke up at 2 a.m. and I was cold. <laughs> it's been, I've been a lot colder since I've lost all that weight, and uh, it's... Um, it's amazing how different it is uh, just with that weight loss. But I'm feeling it now. <laughs> anyway, I'm here to uh, give you all uh, a card of the day. And hopefully it pertains to you. So let's, let's get going. I'm shuffling the cards now. Oh, lost one. So, since that jumped out at me, apparently that's probably the card. I didn't get to uh, restack them, but uh, I'm taking that uh, this is the uh, card. It's the Six of Swords. Now... Let me go over this card with you all. Avoid emotional or energetic vampires. There exist people in the world who take advantage of the emotional energy of others, feeding off them. We often refer to these people as energy vampires, and they should be avoided at all costs during this transit. If you find yourself feeling suspicious of someone else's motivations, Try to dig deep into your center of intuition and determine what it is that's making you feel off about them. If it feels like someone is prying into your life, it's more than okay for you to draw a line in the sand and make sure that you're only sharing information that you're comfortable with sharing. Don't allow this emotional depth and connection energy to let you get more than you're comfortable with. Working with stones like tiger eye. Okay, now here's a uh, rough, untumbled uh, piece of uh, tiger's eye. And clear quartz. And here is a piece of uh, clear quartz. You can see. Uh, might have some white quartz in it, but uh, I'm trying to get a good side so you can see how it's so you can see how clear it is. It's got some scratches on it and stuff that makes it kind of white looking a little bit. But uh, okay, that's not bad. You can kind of see through it. There's my finger back there moving around but okay yeah that's clear quartz rough untumbled embrace the depth mercury is a planet of communication and when it transits through scorpio we can expect the way we communicate with others to take on different energy this transit clears the space for you to allow yourself and your energy to shine in the world around you when mercury was in libra we had the opportunity to, to allow our minds to speak. Now it's your soul's turn. Don't avoid the depths that might otherwise make you feel uncomfortable, but rather embrace it. Allow your soul the freedom of expression during this time. Now, the Six of Swords shows us that you are in a state of transition, leaving behind what was familiar and moving forward into the unknown. You might be moving houses, changing a relationship, changing jobs, going through a rite of passage, or a mental shift. This change may be your own doing or forced upon you, and you may be sad to leave behind what is so familiar to you. However, you know this move is essential for your growth and personal development. 
the sadness over what you have lost or released will soon be replaced by greater mental clarity and a renewed acceptance of change. You will become a better person as a result. The Six of Swords invites you to let go of whatever is holding you back, uh, be it from your past or your present circumstances. Instead, gaze ahead into your future and choose the most in alignment with your highest good and long-term potential. You will need to make tough decisions and compromises along the way. See it as a rite of passage. You are headed toward a much better position in life so long as you are willing to evolve and shed what you no longer need. Do not dwell on what gets left behind. Instead, use this as an opportunity for change your beliefs about yourself. Moving away from whom you used to be and toward whom you want to be. Similarly, the Six of Swords asks you, ask you to reflect on any emotional or mental baggage that you may carry as you move from one phase to the other. And the boat standing up is Six Swords, a sign you are still carrying a heavy weight from your past as you move forward, which might slow your personal growth. These swords may be memories, relationships, habits, behaviors, thought patterns, and beliefs that are no longer serving you. Decide what you need to take with you and what you can leave behind. Oh, boy, he's heavy. I'm sorry, my kitty's uh, kind of <laughs> here up in my lap. I need to take a kitty break. I'm calling him Midnight. His name was Hoppy, but uh, I, it just didn't stick, and I had a hard time remembering it. Um, but uh, Midnight is very simple and very clear to understand. There he is. He's a big kitty. He's heavy. He's eating good. Okay, Midnight. Yeah, I'm going to put you down. He, he's such a loving cat, I swear. He's um, only like uh, six, seven months old or so. I forget exactly when I got it. I got it as a kitten, a feral kitten that the uh, cat had left behind. And it was sad because it and its uh, other brother were left there because I guess their their eyes were matted shut really bad and uh, had to take and uh, keep rubbing their eyes with a wet cloth lightly to get all that matter out of its eyes. And, uh, you know, it was real kind of t touchy there, if iffy whether or not they'd make it but uh yeah he did and i believe his mom his excuse me his brother got adopted out to someone so hopefully he has a good home um but anyway i'm sorry uh let's see let's get back to that reading now uh sorry about that folks i had to uh take an unexpected break um but uh i'm back now uh to uh finish up that uh that reading okay in the previous tarot card in the deck that is the five of swords brought the message of knowing when to walk away from an unhealthy or toxic situation or even one that is just not progressing at your desired state in life. With the Six of Swords, we see the actual making that move and traveling from a possible place of grief and pain, or even just some confusing thoughts and moving into a brighter place. This is a message from the Six of Swords to focus on what is ahead and not what is behind you. The mother and child in this figure have their Six Swords ahead of them as if they have accepted the process that brought you 
to this place. With someone guiding this boat for you, you may have something guiding you on your you may ha you may have someone guiding you on your journey. This is about accepting what has happened and moving towards something brighter. You could also have someone asking you to make the journey of life with them. And this is often a love declaration card as well. But every change can be uncomfortable in life. The swords often represent our thoughts in life. So when the Six of Swords appears, the message is often that you are moving from one place of thinking to another and leaving unhealthy thoughts behind while accepting some swords are part of your journey as well. So there you all have it, uh, the Six of Swords. I hope you were able to get something out of that. And... Uh, I hope you all have a, a great day. Um, enjoy what's left of it out there. I know mine's just starting. Uh, peace. And have a blessed day. Bye-bye.